Good evening. Uh, I want to take a moment and thank those of you who were able to meet uh, this afternoon at 2 o'clock to go over some of the, the possible technology applications that you could utilize for our distance learning. Um, I just want to give a quick overview for those of you that were there and maybe just need a refresher or those that weren't able to attend for one reason or another. Uh, so I'm really going to review two different applications here. I'm going to review the Google Meets using the Screenomatic casting software. So um, the Screenomatic casting software is obviously can be found at www.screencastomatic.com. Uh, and that's obviously right up in the, in the URL there in the top left corner. I'll highlight it here with my mouse so that you can see it. Uh, basically what this software will do, it allows you to access your webcam, but it also allows you to cast your screen and record videos, which then can be later posted to uh, Google Drive, Google Classroom, or whatever different venue. They can be emailed, YouTube, a number of different things. So um, again, both tools are gonna do kind of a similar thing. The nice thing about Meets that's, uh, that Screencast doesn't have is Meet allows for live interaction between yourself and the students and students to students. Um, so for this demonstration, I'm actually gonna use Google, or excuse me, use Screenomatic to explain Google Meets. Um, so before we go and, and shift into Google Meets, I'm just going to kind of talk about some of the highlights of Screenomatic. So if you wanted to use Screenomatic, you can go to Google and, and of course, type in uh, Screenomatic. Uh, it'll come up and you're just going to hit this start recording for free. Uh, prompts will come up. It's very simple to do. Uh, and then eventually what's going to happen is over here, you're going to see this box right here will pop up and you hit record. Whatever's inside of this area, okay, and you can obviously click and drag these things out and make it bigger or wider that's what's going to be casted what I like to do when I do that is I like to put my window just above my URL so you can't see what tabs I have open and then I like to bring it down as far as I can so that you can see a majority of my screen the nice thing about Screenomatic too is it allows you to pause the video and get right back where you were before if you make a mistake you can rewind a little bit and just re-record it. So pretty cool feature. Um, again, if you ever have any questions about it, feel free to email me. I will try to put together a tutorial for it. Um, the issue with the screencasting, to really understand it, you have to use another screencasting software to demonstrate its capabilities. So this might be another one that if you're, you're around in the high school, you might just want to pop in and I can show you kind of how to use it if you're not familiar with. So let's shift gears. So in order to shift gears, I'm going to go up to my hidden tabs here. And I'm going to click on Google. Basically, all this is is www.google.com. It's going to take you to the search engine. Once you're here in the search engine, you need to make sure I'm in, I'm in Chrome. I recommend that you utilize Chrome in order to do this. Um, I'm signed in. I make sure that I'm signed into my account. And then I go to the Google Waffle here, which has all of our applications. I'm going to scroll down until I see the Google Meet application. I'm going to click on the Google Meet application, which is going to bring up Google Meets. So from this point, there's a couple of things I want to point out. The first is, is that you're going to see here nothing scheduled as of today. This actually imports from your Google Calendar. So if you put events inside of your school account, Google, it'll show up here. Um, you know, with it being 845 at night, luckily I don't have any any more uh, scheduled events this evening. Uh, so nothing is showing up. But tomorrow morning or once 12 o'clock and rolls around, my entire calendar would be there and I could click on that and I could actually assign a Google Meet to an actual meeting on my calendar. So it's a nice way to just kind of to, to pin those two together. So given the fact that we don't have anything and in most situations you're not going to need to have anything in your calendar in order to do this, we're going to just go through step by steps of how to set this up. So once I get to this point, the next thing I need to do is I need to hit the plus button. And what this is going to do is this is going to now ask me to create my room, to create my meeting. Um, you can name it whatever you want, but uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to call it our test doc. I'm going to hit continue. Now what you're seeing here is you're actually seeing the Google Meets fire up, accessing my camera, there I am. So you're actually watching me through Google Meets being recorded by screen o -Map. All right, so I know that can be kind of confusing, but now what you're seeing is you're actually seeing me and this is how it would look inside Google Meets. Uh, I'm in my basement at night, you can see my, my nice drop ceiling there. 
Uh, so how do I get in? I'm going to, uh, to drop in by simply saying join in. So join now, excuse me. Once I say join now, I'm going to have a couple of different options. So we join now. The first thing you're going to see is it gives you everything that you need in order to access this. This is the URL that your students would need to live communicate with you. In fact, they can dial in, punch that pin in, and then they can correspond with you uh, the, the audio inside of the, vid, uh, the inside of this um, without even actually having to have a computer. So if they were having audio issues on the computer, they could dial in. Or if they didn't have computer access, this is another way that everybody could communicate together. It was like the old party lines uh, back in the day um, that I'm sure everybody's familiar with. So once I've got all this, I may copy it, uh, make sure I've got this URL. It's also up here as well, so I can take it from here. Um, so we're good with that. So now here we are, we're inside Google Meets. A couple of different features. Uh, the first thing, obviously, if we want to be all done, there's our hang up that makes us leave the call and, and we're done there. Uh, if we had students at this point, we would start to see them popping up over here. You can see this is me uh, and the students would start popping up and this entire thing would shift over to where my face would be a little bit smaller over here and the students would be all over here along the side. So what can we do? Uh, so the first thing that we can do is we can turn the camera on and off here. I can actually turn my sound on and off. You're going to hear me either way because remember this video is being made through Screenomatic, not Google. So this actually turns off the Google sound at that point. I know it's confusing, um, but just just picture it as is if you wanted to when you were working with your students if you wanted to shut this off for any reason if you're in the middle of a conversation with your students and all of a sudden your kid throws a temper tantrum not that that's going to happen uh, you could click that microphone and that would block anything going to to your students um, so a couple of really cool features and probably the thing that you'll utilize the most inside of here is um, down here you're going to see where it says more options you can click here and you can record this option all right so i'm going to actually sit here yep hit the record button hit accept if my recording is going to start here pretty soon all right and now we're really getting crazy we're actually recording on screen omatic and we're recording on google hangouts at the same time so just to kind of give you an example of what we're seeing is i'm going to make this short video all right and then let's say this video was done i'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit stop record, okay? Yes, I wanna stop record and you're gonna notice the recording will be saved to JP Ryan's Google Drive. So we're gonna access that in just a minute. So here you'll see down here, now this does take a little bit of time with Google. It's probably gonna be about five minutes before he shows up in your drive and you'll also get an email stating uh, with a link to the document as well as saying your video is ready. So I'm gonna show you that a little bit. I'll pause the video and wait until um, that all comes through and then we'll record that a little bit so you see it as well. So that's the record feature. Uh, I want to show you the present feature. So if you go down here and you hit this button present, you have an opportunity to present one window or you have an opportunity to present your entire screen. I typically do the entire screen just because it makes it easier. So you'll go here. I'm going to click on my screen. There it is right there and I'm going to share. So now this is going to change it a little bit again. All right, so this is what you will see as the instructor right here. The important part is right up here in this top right corner. So this is what your students are seeing. Your students at that point are seeing your face and then to the left, they're seeing your screen. So for example, if I decide to access school tool at this point, so let's say I go over here and I access school tool. All right, now they're seeing school tool uh, and so let me just bring this back up. Bear with me a second. So well, where that's actually going to display, where the school tool will display is where it says presenting you here. It's difficult again with this with this example to be able to, to show you the school tool there. I would need an additional screen um, uh, to do that. But uh, trust me when I say that your presentation will show right here and you can go slide by slide if you have a Google slide and click through them so that, so that people can see those as well. Um, so what I'm going to do at this point is, is I'm going to exit out. I'm going to stop my sharing. Uh, so here we are, we stopped sharing. I'm back in the camera. Uh, again, your students would be over here to the right. Maybe you're having a conversation. And again, you're gonna have options to be able to mute those students. They're gonna be able to mute you, believe it or not. Um, they can kick each other out of class, which we found today. 
Uh, we had some fun with it, and I'm sure they will too. Uh, we'll work with Google. Any updates, obviously, was something that was in their Q&A, so it's something that teachers are asking, and it's an issue with, uh, with being able to kick students out of class. Obviously, that could create a concern. Um, so if we get any updates from Google, obviously, we'll pass them along. Um, my suggestion is if you're going to utilize this for the first time is to go through and make a video and record it. Uh, record it. Do a small presentation, so you would click here, start your recording, record it with a presentation, and then see how it looks. Now you're going to know how it looks to your students. Um, if you can, start with a Google Hangout with small groups. I think it's a great opportunity for you to talk to maybe two to three kids at the same time. I think it might be difficult to get larger classes, but it's worth giving it a try. I would also recommend that you have students hang out with each other and record those hangouts. So maybe you give them a topic of discussion and uh, the two of them, or two or three of them, share a conversation, record that, and then submit that as part of an assignment. Could be a pretty cool idea. So um, I'm just gonna pause the Screen-O-Matic for just a minute. I wanna check to see if our video our Google video is done so that I can show you kind of how that comes through so hold with me okay so basically I, I went over to my email I paused the the screen o I went over to my email I see the video is done uh, and what I'm going to do is switch over to my the screen that is my actual inbox but what I'm going to do is before I do that I'm actually going to pause and I'm going to narrow my field so that you won't see all my emails you're just going to see the first email um, that I want to share with you so that's what's a nice feature of the screen o is if there's specific things you want to make sure the kids don't see for some reason and uh, you can certainly block that. So for example, right now, I'm gonna pause the video, widen the screen, and I'll show you the tabs that I currently have open. Okay, so I just paused the video, restarted it, and uh, and now you're going to see up here, these are the tabs that I've had open this entire time. So this was the school tool tab, uh, this, the, the actual video editing software, the meets that we're working on now, which you're actually seeing me through the meet camera, not the, not the screen-o-matic camera, uh, and, then, and then my email. So again, what I'm going to do now is pause for, for a third time here, and I'm going to set up the screen so that the only thing that you see is the specific first email, uh, and then we'll kind of go through how that works from there hang on just okay so once again I've adjusted my screen so that you can only see the, the top email the, the this is the actual recording so I have other emails and you may have information that you don't want students to see so again it's a great way to narrow your field so that they only see specific things um, you know you you can I believe I'm gonna attempt it right now you can actually move so here I can see mr. Baker sent me a uh, sent me a um, an email as well um, but you can do that without pausing or you can do it and narrow the field and readjust with pausing so uh, let's let's go into our actual um, our actual image so we're going to go ahead and open that up and what you're going to see is you're going to see a video here uh, so I just click on it it's going to bring the entire video up and I'm going to have the option of uh, downloading opening up the video. All right, and now we're really getting close and we're actually going to the screen on that and doing the recording of the video that's at the same time. So if you remember that that was the video that we shot, um, and then I can I can do with it what I would like. I can either upload it to uh, to the classroom. I can send it to an email. Um, the whatever I feel the best way to distribute that. And again, I'm going to try to continually update content to show you how to do these different things. Um, this could be something if you had a YouTube page, it could go on there as well. Um, so this picture, or excuse me, this video has, uh, let's do this. First, let's get rid of this picture because you don't want to see him anymore. Uh, but this video is, is longer than I had already anticipated. And so if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out. But I hope that you found this, video, this video to be informative uh, and there will be more to come. If you have any suggestions or you'd like to see anything, uh, please feel free to reach out and we'll do our best. Uh, if I don't have the answers, I'll, I'll try to find the answers for you. So um, best of luck with everything and good luck tomorrow on your first uh, distance learning experience as a teacher. Thanks.